So oftentimes when you are taught the basics of tapping, you are taught the setup phrase, even though I have this issue, I love and accept myself. And of everything that I instruct my clients to do or ask them to do, the thing that they resist the most is this one phrase because it's really, really hard to say I love and accept myself. What we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about the setup phrase and whether or not it's something you need to use it and what is the best way to use that particular thing. Hi, Gene Montristelli, editor of TappingQA.com. And once again, it is time to answer a question that you might have, which is going to allow you to get more out of your tapping as you sit down to do this daily as you're navigating your own life. And so this particular question comes from Marion, um, who is in Canada. And she says, do I have to start each round of tapping with the setup phrase, even though I have this issue, I love and accept myself. Now, this is a question that I actually get a lot and I understand where it comes from because it can be difficult for us to be in a circumstance to say that we love and accept ourselves. And when we're doing transformation, like being able to love ourselves, being able to accept ourselves is something that's really, really super key. You know, if you were to ask me to describe my work, my internal transformational work, and I could only distill it down to one single sentence, it would be my goal is for me to be comfortable inside of my own skin. And being comfortable inside of my own skin means that I'm acknowledging who I am, where I am, the context I'm in, what I'm capable of, what I'm not, recognizing my resource state, am I tired, am I hungry, am I overwhelmed, am I excited, and how all of those things impact what is going on. So for me, the goal of being comfortable inside of my own skin is just another version of loving and accepting myself. But just because that is the case, I don't actually think it is useful to start every single session or every single round of tapping with the phrase, even though I have this issue, I love and accept myself. And the reason for that is this, is that when I sit down to tap, I have a tendency to sit down to tap with a very pragmatic disposition, meaning that each time I sit down to tap, I'm doing it for a specific reason. And each time it's different, but there is always, always, always a specific reason. Now, sometimes it's just to get over overwhelm so I can do what's on my to-do list. Sometimes it's in a circumstance where I want to get rid of a craving or deal with my back pain. Sometimes I'm going in to uproot an old limiting belief or story that's impacting the way I act in the world. Now, Sometimes love and acceptance is a really key part of dealing with that particular issue. So for example, if I am trying to put myself out in the world that I'm worried about being judged, my ability to love and accept myself is going to impact my ability to interact with other people because if I'm struggling to love and accept myself, it's going to be difficult for me to have other people do the exact same thing and accept me in that way. So in that case, tapping on love and acceptance is an absolutely wonderful, perfect, useful thing to do. But if I am tapping on an issue that has nothing to do with love and acceptance, and I struggle with accepting myself, I can actually make things worse instead of making them better to get things done. So for example, let's say I'm in a circumstance where I am tapping in the middle of the day to refocus because I'm feeling really overwhelmed because I have too many things on my to-do list, or at least that's the way it feels. Now, if I'm in a circumstance where I'm trying to deal with overwhelm, what I'm probably going to be tapping on is if I take these tasks one at a time, I am going to be successful and I don't have to get it all done today in order to get some of it done today. I'm just going to move in that particular way. That would be a great way for me to tap, to reset myself and to step into something like that. But if I say, even though I'm overwhelmed, I love and accept myself and I'm really struggling with my confidence in my business right now. Now, not only am I overwhelmed, I'm re-reminding myself that I'm not very confident in what I'm doing. And so instead of just dealing with un overwhelm, I'm also introducing this crisis of consciousness or confidence, which is gonna make it even harder for me to do what is in front of me right now. And so if I'm introducing love and accept myself, then what I'm doing is I'm actually adding an extra issue to that particular case. So for me, I rarely start with the setup phrase, even though, I have this issue I love and accept myself. But as I'm working on the issue with myself or working with a client, I recognize the fact that if love and acceptance is something that is super, super useful, then that is something that I am going to introduce as we're doing that particular thing.
And as you're navigating your way through all of this, if you're looking for creative and new ways to come up with setup phrases that don't say love and accept myself, if you go to EFT setup phrase generator.com, that's EFT setup phrase generator.com. I've actually created a little bitty computer program that each time you refresh the page, it gives you 10 new setup phrases that are not the traditional one that we have. And it produces over 2,500 different phrases. So you can refresh the page over and over and over again and to find some phrases that work better for you. So bottom line is tapping is a wonderful, beautiful thing for creating a sense of love and acceptance. And if you're in a situation where that is not the issue at hand, saying the, even though I have this issue, I love and accept myself can actually cause more harm than good or make it more complicated. So step into that sense of love and acceptance in a very easy way. If you are new to tapping or you just want to go deeper in your tapping understanding on your screen right now, you will see a little link where you can click to be able to move to our most commonly asked question sections. So questions just like this that come up all the time, we have them answered in one place. So as you're navigating your tapping journey, it makes it super, super easy for you. For Tapping Q&A, this is Gene Montristelli. I look forward to answering another question and talking to you real soon.